website, upmatters.com. Hi, who is the newest spokesperson for Weight Watchers? Stay tuned for that and other business and finance headlines. You're welcome. Check, 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 check. Is that good, Rob? Hello. Thank you. Right now, Local 3 News begins with your forecast first. Just Tom Kippen, we're watching snow back out in the western UP in Minnesota that will be sliding on through here tonight. And we do have a winter weather advisory for counties bordering Lake Superior, and this will be eventually for lake effect snow as we head into tomorrow. And the lake effect snow will really start to pick on up. Even we could see through tonight and into Thursday afternoon locally over a foot of snow in the lighter pink. From Storm Team 3, that's your forecast first. Local 3 News starts now. Tonight on Local 3 News, Tom Baldini's funeral. How people remembered the mayor of Marquette today and who attended the service. And winterizing your car, what you can do to make sure you don't run into any trouble in the Upper Peninsula this season. Plus, UP fire hydrants, what you can do to help firefighters in the event of an emergency. Those stories and more tonight on Local 3 News. From WJMN TV, Marquette, Escanaba. This is Local 3 News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News in HD. I'm James Fillmore in for Cynthia Thompson. We begin tonight with the funeral service for one of Marquette's well known public officials. Mayor Tom Baldini passed away one week ago today. Local 3's Calvin Lewis has more on the impact of Baldini's death. The Upper Peninsula is remembering one of their own today. Plenty of public officials made the trip to Marquette, paying their respects to Marquette Mayor Tom Baldini. What an impactful life that uh, that he has lived and a huge void for this community. But I, I think just a, a, a shining example of what public service ought to look like. So here to to show my appreciation, pay my respects, and, and to, to say thank you to uh, to, to a person who has made such a huge difference. Joining the lieutenant governor was former Governor James Blanchard, who shared a friendship with Baldini spanning nearly 50 years. He defined the word of a true friend, a friend of everyone here in Marquette, in the UP that he knew, 
his students, his neighbors, his colleagues. I know I speak for all the people he's helped over the years in saying to him, Godspeed. Blanchard worked as a campaign organizer for Sander Levin. When he was tasked the job in finding a coordinator for the UP, all signs pointed to the young teacher at Marquette High School. I got to know him, and of course he was a walking encyclopedia of all things UP. Uh, he was a goodwill ambassador for the Upper Peninsula. He was politically astute, and that began a 48-year friendship. A personality that made him so well-liked amongst co-workers and within the community. Oh, I'm sure people want to name things after him here. They should. But it's really the people he touched. It's the, it's the institutions he energized. It's the spirit he gave everyone to want to do their best, to, to, to themselves serve their fellow man. That's Tom Baldini's legacy, I think. There will be a Mass held at Michael's Catholic Church tomorrow at noon. Reporting in Marquette, Calvin Lewis, Local 3 News. While many people may be thawing frozen pipes or heating up with space heaters, the City of Ishpeming Fire Department warns that these typical winter practices can also lead to winter house fires. And if your home does catch fire this winter, keeping fire hydrants shoveled and clear of snow is an easy step to help firefighters in an emergency situation. A couple three foot uh, diameter around a fire hydrant is great. Um, it, it's very uh, useful in saving time for us if we can locate a fire hydrant uh, instead of having to dig one out. Uh, it's, it saves minutes and sometimes minutes save lives. Fire officials say that just that little extra gesture while shoveling your sidewalk or driveway could make a big difference. And of course, always check to make sure smoke alarms are working properly. During the colder months, vehicles may need some extra care in order to run smoothly. Local 3's Rebecca Bartlemay has more on what you should do to keep your car safe. Winter months in the Upper Peninsula can be a harsh time on vehicles. We've seen a lot of issues right now, uh, dead batteries, uh, issues with heat, uh, heaters, wipers. This weather really takes a toll on all those items that we kind of forget about. And that's why it's important to keep a close eye on your vehicle to prevent larger issues in the future. The biggest thing, you know, it's a common sense approach, really. You know, uh, the tires, um, if you need tires, you know, the tires should be taken care of. Quality of your wipers is really important. Making sure your washers work. Making sure your heater is working at the maximum. And Urkula says it's important to start your car five to ten minutes before hitting the road. You know, a lot of cars nowadays have remote starts. It's a really good idea to get your vehicle started. Let it sit for five, ten minutes. Get those fluids up to temp to some degree. Transmission fluid, engine oil. And if your car doesn't start, there are some key items you can keep in your vehicle. We always recommend that people have an emergency preparedness kit. Uh, those That would include things like cell phones and a charger for that cell phone. Uh, if you get stuck in the snow, it'd be nice to have kitty litter or um, sand and a shovel in your car in order to help dig yourself out. Uh, warm blankets or maybe an extra change of clothes if you do happen to get stranded for a longer period of time, something to keep you dry and warm. You can find the full list of recommended items for your emergency preparedness kits at upmatters.com. Reporting in Marquette, Rebecca Bartlemay, Local 3 News. The UP Regional Blood Center is experiencing a critical need for all blood types. They have donation centers in Marquette, Iron Mountain, Escanaba, Hancock, and Sault Ste. Marie. Walk-ins are welcome, but platelet donations have to be done by appointment. Hours vary by location. For more information, look for this story on our website, upmatters.com. Still ahead on Local 3 News, our Money Watch report. Who's the newest spokesperson for Weight Watchers? Stay tuned for that and other business and finance headlines. We got an Arctic front knocking on the door of the western UP. Behind it, more Arctic air and more lake effect snow will fire up for tonight, tomorrow, and Thursday. We'll tell you how much next.
Storm Team 3 Weather with Tom Kiffin. Sponsored by Shunk Furniture of Marquette. And we're going to be adding more to the snowmobile trails as we head into the next couple of days with lake effect snow coming off of Lake Superior. Here's today's snowmobile trip. Snowmobile Trail Report sponsored by the Buckhorn Resort and Trail 7 South is good to fare and Trail 8 is good and the 419 Trail from Munising to Wetmore is also in good condition as well. As we look at our local three radar network, we do have some light snow across parts of the central UP, but more snow back on off towards the west. You can see the snow is coming along an Arctic front and as this front sweeps through Upper Michigan tonight, we'll pick up some snow, but behind it more Arctic air and more lake effect snow. Winter weather advisories for lake effect snow are in effect for Marquette and Alger counties and also in the western UP and Keweenaw Peninsula. Out on the Great Lakes, we do have gale warnings in effect and also we do have freezing spray warnings. Usually it's for the ships, so the ice accrue, so we, so there's a warning out for ice accumulation on the ships, but right along the lake shore there could be some ice accumulation on some structures as well. So just heads up on that. As for snow, lake effect snow, like I keep saying, it is either some spots get little to no snow accumulation, drive down the road, it's one to two feet of snow, and that's going to be the case here with a northerly to eventually northwesterly wind set up. This is where in the lighter pink in the Porcupine Mountains, also just east of Marquette from Chocolate Township towards Kiva and also Scandia Township. This is where we could locally pick up 16 inches of snow, but even in the lighter pink colors, we could see areas get lesser amounts, and that also includes the brighter pink as well here in Marquette and back up towards Big Babe locally potentially tonight, tomorrow, and also Thursday. Not all at once. We could see up to a foot of snow, but like I said, in Marquette, over to Big Bay, some spots in between may not pick up much in the way of snow. So here we go with our clouds and precipitation forecast. As that front comes on through, everybody sees a quick burst of snow, and then on a north to northwesterly wind flow, we are looking at lake effect snow to continue for Wednesday and also Thursday. If you don't see lake effect snow, you will get the cold temperatures coming in, and we'll start to see the winds pick up a touch tomorrow morning not real strong winds, but we'll have gusty winds that could at times reduce the visibility in the heavier lake effect snow. So as we look at current temperatures, we're in the teens right now. We're out ahead of that Arctic front behind it, though. Temperatures are going to fall off pretty good. We'll have low temperatures tonight in the single digits. Some spots may even stay in the teens. And but as we head into the daytime on Wednesday, temperatures don't go far. In effect, temperatures will start slowly falling off into tomorrow afternoon to around zero or into the single digits. And then here are low temperatures on Thursday morning at or below zero away from Lake Superior and looking at the wind chills wind chills bearable tonight, but as we head into tomorrow with these gusty winds, we'll see the wind chills fall well below zero and here are our wind chills forecast as we head into Thursday morning. Some spots well, well below zero potentially 20 below or colder and then as we head into Thursday morning, look at these wind chills possibly approaching 20 below or colder, especially along the Wisconsin Michigan state line. So as we look at tomorrow, lake effects, no single digits and teens will also have gusty winds as well. And then Thursday, we're in the deep freeze. We'll have lake effect snow for both days, high temperatures in the single digits, lows below zero away from the immediate Lake Superior shoreline, a little bit of moderation in temperatures on Saturday, but I think everybody gets some good snow accumulation potentially on Saturday, late in the day and into Saturday night, and then lake effect snow or even some snow chances continue for the end of this weekend and in the early next week. You can always get your latest weather forecast on our website at upmatters.com. Okay, Tom, thank you very much. Up next on Local 3 News, our Money Watch report. What change McDonald's is making? Plus, stay tuned to find out about the trading day on Wall Street.
In our Money Watch report, Meg Oliver has the business news headlines and details about how much debt the average person has after the holidays. Today is the first trading day of 2018 and the bulls charged out of the gate when the opening bell rang this morning. The Dow gained 104 points, the Nasdaq added 103 and set a new record. Weight Watchers is adding another heavy hitter to its roster of spokespeople. Today, the company struck a deal with producer and recording artist DJ Khaled, who will document his weight loss on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. He joins Oprah Winfrey, who invested in the company a few years back. Khaled told his social media followers he's already lost 20 pounds on the program. McDonald's is testing fresh beef instead of frozen patties again. The fast food giant's new Arch Burger is being offered at seven restaurants in Tulsa, Oklahoma. If feedback is positive, the chain could add it to its menus nationwide. McDonald's has already said it will start serving a fresh beef quarter pounder at most stores by the summer. And if you find yourself in debt after the holidays, you're not alone. The personal finance website Magnify Money says U.S. shoppers racked up an average of $1,000 of debt during the Christmas season. Only half of those surveyed said they'll be able to pay it off within three months. That's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. In New York, I'm Meg Oliver. Sports with Jake Duran is straight ahead tonight on Local 3 News. The Michigan Tech Husky hockey team is playing for the GLI championship tonight in Detroit. We'll hear from the team as they prepare for the big game. But first, a look at stocks of local interest and today's report on precious metals. Yeah. Time off to rest and get healthy as they look.
Local 3 Sports with Jake Duran. Sponsored by UP Rehab Services. The Northern Michigan men's basketball team is eager to get back on the court after a break for the holidays. The Cats use their time off to rest and get healthy as they look towards the second half of their season. They will look to keep their conference record perfect at home on Thursday against Tiffin. Their 5-0 start is their best start to conference play in over 20 years. Our uh, mentality has been really, really good and uh, we've had some some really good practices. Uh, it, was, it was great on, on Sunday. We actually had an inter-squad game, and, uh, and, man, that was intense as it can get. Actually, I had a few guys that I had to kind of simmer down a little bit, so we were very competitive in that. So overall, uh, uh, I like our focus going into the new year, and uh, our guys are excited to, to be back and be playing. With a win against Tiffin, the Wildcats would equal their total number of wins from all of last season. Tip-off for the game is set for 6 p.m. at the Barry Event Center this Thursday. For the third straight year, the Michigan Tech hockey team will be playing in the Great Lake Invitational's championship game. It's their fifth appearance in the last six years. The Huskies last won the tournament in 2012, but have finished as runners-up in their pre previous three attempts. They will take the ice against a familiar foe, the Bowling Green Falcons. This will be the third time the teams have met this season. Tech is 0-1-1 against BGSU so far after a shutout loss and a tie in early November. It's a putting chance for us to be better in an environment where they, we have to step up and be better, much like the icebreaker type tournament you know, that we were able to, to win. And if guys, if you do that long enough, that's how good habits, that's how confidence is built. I'm not looking at a championship a title that does nothing for that. That's just pers that's you know I mean that's glitter. We're, we're looking at being the best we can possibly be and and develop young men and young hockey players. That's what our emphasis is on. We'll have highlights of the game tonight at 11 p.m. right here on Local 3 Sports. The Packers made it official today. Ted Thompson is out as general manager and will take on a role as senior advisor to football operations. So for, for the first time in 13 years, Green Bay is in search of a new front office leader. Packers president and CEO Mark Murphy says the move was a joint decision between himself and Thompson. Murphy says a consultant will aid the search for the new general manager, but Murphy will ultimately make the final decision. The Packers president also confirmed that head coach Mike McCarthy signed a one-year extension during the season, so he won't be a lame duck for whoever is hired to replace Thompson. But as far as the former GM goes, Murphy thinks, quote, history will look back on Ted very fondly. I've heard people say, well, you know, Mark, you're, you've accepted mediocrity. You're just happy to be in the playoffs. Well, playoffs look pretty good right now where we're sitting. This is a very unique organization, very special. We're positioned to hire a great GM and get back to where our fans want us to be, and that's uh, in contention for a Super Bowl on a regular basis. Green Bay has a number of in-house candidates as well as other Ron Wolf disciples around the NFL for the open position, but Murphy says he'll consider all candidates. Okay, Jake, thank you. Stay with us to find out what's coming up for Local 3 News at 11, and Tom will have another look at the weather. Hey, Mike Jack, one, two, three, four.
New for you tonight on Local 3 News at 1110 Central, our Health Watch report. How a new technique is helping people who suffer from fibromyalgia. Stay tuned for those stories and the rest of the evening news tonight on Local 3 News at 1110 Central. And Tom's here with one last look at the weather. Well, if you thought about escaping to Florida or the Gulf Coast, uh, think again, because they're getting in on the Winter Weather Act as well. There is winter storm warnings in effect for the Florida Panhandle up to Savannah, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina along the Outer Banks. That's because a low pressure system will be coming up the Gulf Coast, and that will be bringing freezing rain and snow to those areas and cold temperatures. This storm system in the Gulf will actually combine with the Arctic Front moving through here currently and produce a pretty big snow and windmaker for the big cities on the East Coast, Philadelphia to New York to Boston. For us, we have our own snow issues to deal with, with lake effect snow. Some spots locally just east of Marquette could get over a foot of snow by Thursday afternoon. But keep in mind, even in the lighter pink, some areas could get lesser amounts with the lake effect snow. You could get a lot of snow and just down the road, very little. All right, we'll just have to wait and see. Yep. Okay, well, thank you for joining us. We'll be back at 11, but until then, have a good night. Tonight. Tonight on Local 3 News at 6. Tonight. What Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly is saying about opioids in Michigan, plus an attorney general candidate visits the Upper Peninsula. Tonight on Local 3 News at 6. Tonight. What you can do to help firefighters in the Upper Peninsula and a desperate need for blood donations. Tonight on Local 3 News at 11. Tonight on Local 3 News, what you can do to make sure your vehicle runs well in the Upper Peninsula winter. That and more on Local 3 News at 11, 10 Central. Tom Baldini's funeral, tonight on Local 3 News.
The link between divorce and the month of January on Local 3 News Tonight. Oh, so yeah, apparently January might be like the biggest month for divorces. So I just thought I'd tell everyone that we are now at least gaining a minute of daylight a day. Hi, I'm meteorologist Tom Kippen. This weather update brought to you by Ward's Auto Body in Escanaba. We'll have lake effect snow today along with gusty winds. Temperatures not going far. And in fact, by the late afternoon, temperatures will start falling off. We'll see temperatures in the teens. Some spots, though, will be in the single digits. For tonight, we'll keep the lake effect snow going along with gusty winds at times. Low temperatures dropping below zero away from Lake Superior. The coldest temperatures will be right along the Wisconsin border in the interior west.